G'day all, welcome to another CUDA tutorial. So, um, before we continue programming in CUDA, there's a problem that's going to come up. So I thought I'd make a tutorial right at the start just to address it so we can get on top of it right away. Uh, it's this, basically. Uh, display driver stopped responding and has recovered. You'll get that error all the time, uh, unless you do, you know, what we're going to go through in this tube. So by default, Windows assumes that we're using, using the GPU for graphics processing. And in these types of applications, the graphics card is going to respond really, really quickly. Um, maybe it's calculating frames for a 3D game or something like that, but it's, it's going to respond to the CPU within nanoseconds. So the graphics driver actually resets itself if it detects that the GPU is hanging, or, you know, if the GPU's got a problem calculating something. Um, unfortunately what it does to detect if there's been a problem is it waits for two seconds and if the graphics card hasn't responded in two seconds uh, it assumes that there's been a problem and it resets the driver. Uh, this is really really good for detecting problems in graphics but it's really really bad for CUDA. You know CUDA is going to take longer than two seconds to calculate some things. Uh, so um, if you run a program you know, without changing a few things in the, uh, well, we'll have a look. But if you run a program without making these changes, uh, you'll get this error if the graphics card takes longer than two seconds to run a kernel. Alrighty, so to prevent this from happening, we've got to actually change some settings in the um, graphics card driver, and they're stored in the Windows registry. Uh, we're going to add some values and set them up. Uh, I should mention that um, the Windows registry is a really dangerous place to go and don't change anything um, that you're not sure of because it's really super easy to, um, you know, wreck your whole system and you might have to reinstall Windows. You know, if you change a few things around, the whole system might, might fall apart. So be very, very careful and probably only change values that you know kind of what you're doing. Um, and if I remember... Uh, we will go through backing up the registry before we make these changes. That way, if if something happens, um, you've got a you know a restore point where you can restore the state of your registry. Okay. Alrighty. So the values that we're actually going to change probably don't exist at the moment. So Windows is actually using the defaults for them, and they're in the following key. We've got uh, H key local machine slash system slash current control set slash control slash graphics drivers. I think that's where they are. Um, yeah, I'll go to the real place. If, if, if I had a typo or something, I'll go to the real place in the uh, demo at the end. But I think that's what it is. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to add two uh, D word values to this sub key. One of them is called TDR level, which is uh, timeout detection and recovery level. And that's a little function sort of thing. So a setting of zero for TDR level. Uh, means off, don't detect timeouts at all, and that's actually what I'll set mine to. But you can also set it to 3, which means timed. And this is the default, this is the problem, this is why we get the display driver stopped working and has recovered error, because the default is 3, it's timed. And if TDR level is um, 3, then TDR delay, which is the other key we're going to add, uh, that indicates the number of seconds to wait. Uh, prior to assuming that there must have been a problem and resetting the driver. So by default, the TDR delay is two seconds, and by default, uh, TDR level is time. But we're gonna, you know, we're gonna change that. I'm actually gonna set mine to zero or off completely, but uh, maybe you wanna set it to timed and set the number of seconds to say 15 or 20 seconds. I don't know. It's up to you. Uh, yeah, if I remember, I'll put a link in the video description to the Microsoft MSDN entry for these TDR registry keys. Uh, that's it there, in case I don't remember. But uh, they got some good stuff there. They actually mentioned a few other settings for the TDR level as well that we're not going to go through. Alrighty, so that's the end of the slide. If we come over here to Visual Studio, uh, I've just written a little program here, and it runs a single kernel that I know takes longer than two seconds. So it's a completely pointless kernel once again. This is just a little demo. We're not we're not really programming CUDA at the moment, but just as a demo, this is a really good uh, illustration of the error. So all I've asked it to do is um, add 
whatever's in the uh, integer pointer B to the integer pointer A, 10 million and five times. Alrighty, so that's all the kernel does. It's just a for loop and it does that 10 million and five times. So that I know runs for longer than two seconds. So it could be anything, but that one runs for longer than two seconds. And the actual CPU side of the world, um, all I've really done is put zero in A and one in B and you know, allocated memory, same as the um, other two. Uh, what I've also done here actually is um, checked for errors, uh, just to show that this is not, it's not an error that's causing this, it's a perfectly normal way for the system to behave. You know, we told it with the um, registry keys to um, reset the driver. But um, yeah, I just put those errors there to um, show that this is a normal way for this uh, GPU to behave. Um, Alright, scrolling down a bit more. Uh, here's the actual kernel call. So I've just used one thread again, rather, you know, rather pointless use of the GPU, but we're just trying to generate an error here, so all good. And finally at the end I've printed out that answer. So if A is uh, 0 and B is 1 and we add B to A one, uh, what was it? 10 million and 5 times, A should come out as uh, 10 million and 5. Yeah, let me just hit play and see what happens. Okay, waiting, waiting, aha, uh -huh. yeah there, did you see that? I don't know if the video recorder caught it, but down here in the right hand side we can see the error, display driver stopped responding and has recovered. So that's what we're trying to get rid of. And in addition to that, when it reset, uh, it didn't bother to run our kernel properly either. Um, so we didn't get the right answer, I don't actually know whether seems to have closed down. Oh, it's had an error copying memory the second time. Yeah, because the pointer was null, probably. Yeah, okay, so that's the error that we want to get rid of. We, um, we want to be able to calculate things that take longer than two seconds, pretty much. So, uh, if we come down here to the start menu, and in the little bar down here, you type reg edit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. And hit enter. It's going to ask you if you want to uh, open up RegEdit. You know, are you serious? Do you want to open up RegEdit? They're going to say yes. I think the screen recorder doesn't capture that, so you might not have seen my, my screen there. But this is RegEdit. So this is where you change the settings to pretty much every program, including Windows uh, in the whole computer. Anyway, the key we're looking for is in H key local machine. Actually, before we do anything, <laughs> I should back it up. So uh, file export and I've got mine set to desktop but you just type in a name here maybe something like backup what date have we got the 7th of the 11th 2012 and hit save backing up backing up yeah, it's taking a while Alright, so it's just finished now, copying the uh, exact sort of state of the registry to a file on my desktop, and if I stuff everything up, you know, make a mess of it, accidentally delete everything, then um, I've got a restore point. So that's really, really important. If you double click on that file that you just made then, uh, you know, you can restore the registry to its previous state. Okay, so that's a little safety measure, but the key that we're looking to change is in H key local machine, and where uh, system then current control set double click on that and control double click on that oh that's a long list there uh, if you come down a bit you'll see graphics drivers uh, it's in there so you probably won't see uh, tdr level and tdr delay as values in there but we're going to add them so if we right click on graphics drivers i mean if they're already there then you can right click and modify them but we're going to add them uh, okay, so right click on graphics drivers and say new and come down to D word. It's a double word, a 32 bit integer. And click on that. Uh, okay, so the name of the first one, T D R L E V E L. T D R level. There we go. And we also right click on that and go new and D word. T D R 
um, delay. TDR delay and TDR level. Okay, so I'm going to actually set my TDR level to zero, but you uh, right click on the value that you just made and you click modify. Uh, you can change it to hexadecimal or decimal, it doesn't really matter at the moment. So you've only got, you know, zero, one, two, or three as the TDR level, but I'm going to select uh, zero for mine, but you could type three there and hit OK. That would be the timed uh, delay, and then it would look at the TDR delay value for the number of seconds that you want to wait. Anyway, I'm going to put mine as zero, and hit OK. And if we right click on TDR delay and I click modify, uh, this is where you can specify the number of seconds. Only if TDR level is um, 3. But maybe you want to type something like 15 or 20 seconds. So you want to say that, you know, if the graphics card hasn't responded in 20 seconds, then there's been a problem and reset the driver. Yeah, any number you want. So that defaults to 2. I'll put it as 20 and hit OK. Um, Alright, so that's the changes to the registry that we wanted to make. You can just close that down and you're going to have to restart the computer. So, um, yeah, I'll restart and get back to you in a minute on the other side of the restart. Alright, see ya. Okay, hello, I'm back again. So I restarted the computer after changing those uh, registry settings and now I'm back in my uh, exactly the same project as before. I haven't touched anything. And if we hit play, waits for a while, waits for a while. Aha! Okay, so no error that time. It ran with no trouble because I turned off the um, timeout detection. And if we come down here and see the result, we see that it did exactly what we asked it to. It added 1 to A 10 million and 5 times. Okay, so that's going to allow us to make programs that take longer than two seconds to run a single kernel. Really, really useful, and hopefully uh, in the future, um, yeah, that problem won't bother you. Alright, well thank you very much for listening, and see you later.